confused. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the best and the newest horror figures that we're adding here to the collection. You guys know we do horror videos here sometimes. We've done, you know, my brother's Jason mask collection. We've done um, his figure collection with Pennywise and Jason and all kinds of different horror characters. But today, guys, we're finally adding one of my personally favorite characters from any horror franchise. We have Michael Myers from the 112 Mezco line from the movie Halloween, the original Halloween, and I think you guys will get a fun kick out of this. He is going to be invading My Damn Toys here today, and he's going to be in any future horror videos, you know how we do on the channel, and he's going to be in some future horror setups and stuff. So we're going to take a look at his figure today, guys. Here's the box here. You can see it says Halloween on the front. Michael Myers up here. You got the 112 logo there. On the side, we do get an image of the Halloween logo with the hand, with the knife, and then the pumpkin, of course. You got the Mezco Toys logo down here. Another 112 logo there. You got an image of all the things he comes with and the figure itself on the back as well. Some really awesome action shots. I love this one at the top of the stairs. I think that is so sick. And then on the other side, we got another image of the Halloween logo. And that's pretty much it for the uh, packaging, guys. So let's go ahead and crack him out. And here we have Michael Myers out of his packaging, guys. Looking really, really awesome. I am very excited about this figure pickup right here. I do have a few gripes about it. But you get a slew of accessories with this guy. He is also very, very highly detailed. Um, again, I, like I said, though, there are some things that I will gripe about with this guy. But uh, personally, I think that Michael Myers has always been one of my favorite uh, horror characters. I think that he's probably at the top for me. I just like his look a lot better than others. And his films were a lot more enjoyable than others as well. But um, I think his look is very nice. You know, he's one of the most iconic horror icons of all time in the history of just film itself. So really nice figure looking here but first of all we're going to cover his accessories and then we're going to get into michael myers himself all right guys so getting into his accessories he does come with a slew of them right here guys i guess we can start off with his stand you can see right here it is a very nice stand it's a big black circle it says halloween here from the original got the original logo here and a bit of an easter egg right here in the hand if you notice it right here you can see a screaming face you can see the eyes the nose and the mouth if you guys can make that out right there very nice didn't even know that until brad told me but um, you can see here that it does come with this claw accessory that can hold the figure um, if you have you know problems uh, like porting his foot into the peg hole down here and what you do is you pour out this right here um, you pull it out from the back the peg hole comes out and then you stick this into the stand I'm not gonna do it now because I don't think I'll ever use it but that is how that works so we have the stand which is very very nice with the logos it does come with his sisters Judith Myers headstone this is from you know the original since this is the original Halloween movie um, he went and dug this up and he put it in uh, that bed you know when he, he murdered that girl and Bob and uh, he put it in her bed and uh, yeah that's the whole deal there it's got some nice details in there it says our beloved daughter you got some roses in there Judith Myers and then her uh, birthday and then her death day you got some nice um, chipping away of the stone there and yeah that's a very nice piece I think that's great as far as comparison to the figure I guess I guess it would work as far as size comparisons um, next up we do have a pumpkin and this is very nice you know you can't have Halloween without your pumpkin right here you jack-o-lantern jack but um, the pot, the, or the top right here, pops off just like so, and you can see there's batteries in there. There was a cover over these batteries, but it's just a pain in the ass to even uh, get back on there. But you kit this on, and you can either leave it off or on. I can't really tell. I'll cut the lights off real quick so you guys can see. It does light up, and it actually flickers there, so that is really, really sick. But I guess to cut it off, you have to reach in there and sw hit the switch so I think that's kind of dumb and you know pointless because I don't know I don't think you I don't know if it cuts off automatically um, but I, I doubt it cuts off automatically but you can't put that back on there and yeah so that you a nice little jack-o-lantern accessory our next accessory guys is an interchangeable head and if you guys have seen the original movie you will know that this is Bob's uh, sheet right here and this is his uh, you know the, the glasses and he went downstairs and uh, Michael got in killed him And then put the sheet over his head, walked upstairs, and then murdered his girlfriend. Uh, uh, uh. 
So that is an iconic scene from the movie there, and I'm not going to put this on the figure. I like the original head sculpt. I think it's really cool that they threw this in, though. I think that's really awesome. But, uh, yeah, not, not going to put it on the figure here. It is nice, though. Very nice, uh, high-quality sheet. The glasses do not come off. But it is, again, a very nice detail that they included. Next up, we do have a couple weapons here. We got the uh, kitchen knife, and it's a very nice piece here. You can see stainless steel, got the brown handle on there. And then we have another one with some accurate blood on it. And I can tell already that these accessories are in scale with the uh, NECA accessories. So if you wanted him to wield, you know, different accessories from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Leatherface, or you wanted him to rock the machete or any of that stuff, you could if you wanted to. Wouldn't be accurate, but you know, it, you could do it if you wanted. Um, and then, of course, we do have a slew of hand accessories right here. Our first pair of hands are what I like to call the mummy hands. You know, like he's reaching out trying to grab you or choke you. So we have a couple of mummy hands right here. We have a couple of relaxed hands. You know, if he's just standing there behind the bushes looking at Laurie. Um, so he could just be chilling behind a bush with these hands. And then we have uh, two fisted hands. One of the fisted hands is on the figure. And then we have a knife wielding hand for the left hand. But right now on the figure, I have a left fist and a right knife wielding hand. So that is why these two um, do not match. But besides that, that is pretty much everything for Michael Myers accessories, guys. So now that we have covered that, let's go ahead and cover Michael Myers himself. So getting into Michael Myers himself, guys, you can just see here, I think the head sculpt is really, really nice. We'll take a zoom in shot real quick. And you can just see the face of death right here, the face of evil. You can see Michael's eyes through there. I think they did a really nice job on this original mask sculpt. You can see the nice color on there. I think that they should have maybe, I don't know if it's picking it up on camera. There is some nice shading on the mask. Uh, but it's not picking up on camera very much, so if that's, uh, you know, a problem, I, I think there is some good shading in there. They probably could have added a little bit more, but for the most part, I like it. I think the hair looks nice, and being Mezco, I'm surprised they didn't make it, you know, actual hair or, like, a hair feel. I'm glad they didn't. I think the sculpt looks better, but um, Mezco likes to make a lot of different things, cloth and, uh, you know, realistic, so I'm surprised they didn't do that, but I'm glad that they did not. Going down into the torso, guys, you do have his nice jumpsuit right here in the navyish blue color. You know, like a workman, workman's vest. You got some pockets on the front that do not work. But uh, it's very nice detail. It is, uh, you know, very nice. It's very high quality. You got his black undershirt under there. You can see the mask does end here, which is a very nice detail. They didn't just continue it down into the shirt. It actually does look like a mask on the figure. And you can see going down, you got all of this going down. I mean, it's not like you can see underneath. This is literal what he wore. So, I mean, you can't really beg too much. But it is cloth, so you do get some articulation in there. And then here is his boots. You do get some good details on there as far as dirt and green and black. I need to hunt down a pair of these because I will be Michael Myers this year for Halloween. So I cannot wait to pick up my jumpsuit and my boots. Already got my mask on the way. So maybe we can post an image or something like that when Halloween is on its way or gets here. But um, you can feel underneath the figure, the ab crunch isn't the greatest, like you can barely move forward. I'm also very worried about the arms. I feel like if I bend them, they're going to snap in half. I don't know. I just got to work out the joints. But um, another big issue that I have is the size. I think that he's a bit too small. I wish that he would be like 25% bigger. I'll go ahead and do a comparison shot of him up next to some WWE figures. So you guys can see right here that he is a bit shorter than George Washington over here and then of course he is a bit shorter than Finn Balor so it's not too too bad but um, I think that if you use them with your women figures, I think it'll be a lot better. I'll go ahead and grab one real quick. So you guys can see up next to Charlotte, I think it scales a lot better. You know, Charlotte's pretty tall and pretty big. You know, she's muscular and everything. So I think this is a good comparison between an average sized man. Um, so you can see the height difference and everything like that. But I think that, you know, if you wanted to do a shot of him stabbing one of them, I think that they would work out well. Obviously, Michael's a bit more detailed than the Mattel WWE figures, but I think it's a really nice touch anyways. But that pretty much does it for your WWE. WWE to Michael Myers comparisons. But that pretty much does it for this 112 Mezco action figure review on the brand new Michael Myers from the original Halloween, guys. Overall, really solid figure. Great details on this guy. Again, I hate that he is so small, but you know, it is what it is. What can you do? Very nice details again. Um, I'm loving this. Cannot wait to put it up on the shelf. I think for Halloween, I'll do a big Halloween video for you guys. I think that'll be really cool. And I'm actually thinking about doing something else for you guys that I think if Brad will approve it, I think that it'll be really awesome. So, uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.